What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a very special opening. Uh, actually, I just want to say we have some of the best subs on YouTube. Uh, Garfield, a good friend of the channel, sent us a very special package and included a Sword and Shield was it, premium trainer box. It seems like these things are ETBs on steroids. Looks like there's going to be like 20 packs inside, lots of other cool goodies, and some other cards as well. I'm really excited. I didn't really pick up any Sword and Shield stuff from the Japanese set, uh, just because, you know, it takes so long for it to get here. Uh, but Garfield really hooked this up, and we're going to get to open this. I think there's 10 packs of Sword and 10 packs of Shield. Uh, we're going to try to get some great pulls, like, uh, I think... We definitely want the Marnie. <laughs> That's probably the top of the list. But there's also that Torkoal and uh, all that, that VMAX Snorlax looks hilarious too. So thank you so much Garfield and let's see what kind of cards we can get out of this box. Alright, so here is the back of the box. So I believe it says like 10 and 10. So I'm assuming that's the packs, uh, a bunch of energies, which is whatever. And I'm guessing these are just like some trainers to help build a deck and some damage counters. This box looks pretty cool. And obviously you get a very cool uh, box in this thing. And it's really hard plastic. Seems like it's much higher quality than like the US or the English ETBs. I've always known that these products exist, but I think they kind of come out a little bit later than the regular sets. So I never, well, at some, at one point we did do Japanese box openings, uh, but we never got that into it, and we never opened one of these premium collection boxes. I think they're actually quite expensive as well. So let's see, no, nothing inside there. And all right, how does this open? Oh my God, this thing is like legit. Wow, it's like magnetic and everything. That is so cool. And I think at one, not too long ago, they had like this super premium thing that cost like $500 and had like a couple promos. Uh, and this build quality is, I don't know, it reminds me of it. Oh wow, look at that, it's very neat. Very nicely stacked. This I'm actually kind of interested in. I wonder if we can use this for when we go to League and stuff. It's probably some energies and stuff. We got a bunch of packs. Not sure what this guy is for. And some damn. Ooh, I like these. I think dice are probably better. But, and this box is amazing. I'm very. Probably use this for something. Not sure what though. And, alright, let's see what we have here. I'm guessing this is just going to be a whole lot of energy. And then these, probably just some useful trainer cards. Actually, we'll get into that later. Let's jump into. Let's do shield first. I feel like sword kind of has maybe some cooler stuff. So we'll go shield. And I'm going to get a pair of scissors to open these. I feel like it's a little bit easier. Be right back. All right, got our scissors. And while I was up, I opened up that box. And let's just see what's inside. Looks like this trainers. I wonder if this is kind of designed. Is this uh, evolution or something? Rare candy. This is designed to maybe you and a buddy pick up one of these. There's Marnie. And then you each create a deck out of all the cards. A lot of useful stuff in there. Ooh, Cynthia's. Welders. Okay, so nothing new in there, but just a lot of probably really useful cards to help you build a deck. It feels reminiscent of the code cards for like the tag team collection boxes, tins, where they usually came with a lot of really good stuff. All right, let's get into pack number one. We'll figure out what the pack trick is as we go. Ooh, boy. A lot of sword, Pokemon, sword and shield Pokemon that I don't remember. Score Bunny. Oh. I don't even remember that, but it's like you encounter right from the beginning. And then just a. We'll put that up there. Oh, actually, no, that's just an uncommon. Yeah, that's the thing about Japanese packs. They, they only have like five cards in them, and there's no guarantee for like a rare or anything. That's okay. Uh, and I think this is kind of like a ETB in that you don't have. You know, there won't be any kind of guaranteed ratio is my guess. All right, so we got something. So it looks like it is one card to the front. I believe this is the band that just gives you plus 10 damage. Hitmonlee. Actually, this art is pretty cool where Hitmonchan is in the background. There's Hitmonchan with the exact opposite with Hitmonlee in the background and Sableye V. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this pull. This is one of the cards that I was interested in. Uh, the Wicked Claws for two darkness energy does 10 damage plus 60 more for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So, you know, he can't be the only fighter you need to do to set something up. Uh, but even if, I don't know, somehow you get some kind of spell tag effect, that will just 
this thing will be so strong. So I'm actually really happy we pulled that. And we're just going to keep going. Once again, thank you so much, Garfield. That was so generous of you. And yeah, I mean, this is the first time we ever opened one of these kind of things. And I'm really enjoying it. Score Bunny's Evolution. Oh, I'm terrible at names. It takes me a while to, even though I played through the entire game, uh, it's going to be a while before I remember all the names. Even you, like the the, the, <laughs> the Me Seeks Turtle. <laughs> So let's see, actually the Zacian V looks pretty cool as well. Let's just do this always. And all right, so the back card is always a uncommon. So maybe it's like three commons, a potentially rare, and then one uncommon in the back. Or was that four? And ooh, yes, this card's really good. Uh, so it has the ability that um, I believe you can attach to, when you bring this into active, I think you attach to, um, Fire energy from the discard pile, and then you can attack those. Discard two energy deals 190. So you can basically every turn bring this uh, retreat and then bring it back into the active, attach two energy for free, and then get your 190 attack in. And it is a stage two, but it is only one prize card. All right, just double checked, and that is correct for Sindrace's card. I think it's funny that I actually, for a handful of the cards that I was interested in, I remember the cards, the attacks and stuff more better than I remember the actual names of the Pokemon. All right, let's see. We have Rhydon. It's pretty cool art. It's a weird Pokemon. Hoot Hoot, that I believe is a recycled art, which I am never a fan of. That weird Cobra Snake. And, oh, this one's cool. Um, I believe this is once per turn, you can look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and then rearrange them. Uh, and so that sounds super annoying in any kind of control deck. It's not as good as like Chip Chip Ice Axe that you can actually move some cards to the bottom as well. But still, that sounds very annoying and scary. And it looks like that's just an uncommon. Stage two, that's the only downside. All right, so far we did get one V, and again, I'm guessing that there are no guaranteed ratios for this. Ooh, I see something in the back. All right, so going forward, we're going to be looking for a Black Borders. Is this Groupy? Is this like a Mana? Oh, Snorlax V, <laughs> nice. All right, let's see if we can remember. Uh, I don't remember, but maybe this says you can't use this attack next turn. I believe this one is the amount of damage that you do, you heal for that much too. V, uh, basic 220 HP, we want the V max of this big boy, but really happy that we pulled this. All right, I just want to correct one thing that second attack for four colorless 170 is this Pokemon is now asleep, which makes more sense. Not that you can't use the attack, you just go to sleep. That's a very Snorlax thing to do, especially if he has to do work and deal 170 damage. All right, let's see, we got Knocked Owl, Mawile. Don't remember your name? Oh, is this the one that there's a lot of memes for? No, I don't think so. Oh, Frostmoth. Hey, okay. Evolves from this guy. This one is totally busted. I know that uh, shoutouts to you, Get Wrecked. On, um, joins a lot of our streams. He does trivia on our streams. And this one, I think he's really excited for. Basically, this says you can put as many water energy as you want during your turn. That is infinite ramp. From your hand, compared to Rillaboom, who I think is going to be the strongest card from these sets, which is, you can only do it twice, but it comes from your deck and not from your hand. That is totally busted. Lantern. Hoot Hoot Mana. Oh, I don't remember your name. And this is the Quick Ball. Man, that Quick Ball. Sword and Shield. You know, I enjoyed playing it. But it was way too easy. Quick Ball is just a ridiculous item. I think when we uh, faced Zamazenta, it's like, all right, well, let's just try this Quick Ball just for the memes. And it's like, oh, it caught it. And I was considering using my Master Ball at first. Totally ridiculous. Is this, this kind of looks like it might be a rainbow energy, especially with that one there saying you deal one damage to you, probably. Chincho. Oh, Wooloo. <laughs> uh, weird Bug and Oranguru. Don't remember what your effect does. I do like that art. That's really funny. It kind of looks, reminds me of a different Orangu art, but it looks kind of um, like a 
parody kind of fan art thing. That's really funny. Once again, thank you so much, Garfield. Uh, and yeah, he does so much for the channel. Actually, let me put this back here in the background. So during our Twitch streams, which we do Monday, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, he actually hooks us up with tons of PTCGO packs that we do giveaways throughout our streams. So if you if you do play PTCGO, you should definitely attend one of those streams and enter those giveaways. All right, we have the Galarian Rapidash, the My Little Pony Unicorn. This one is Psychic, and I believe this has a pretty good ability that says you your Pokemon can't have any status effects. And uh, actually, let's get wrecked again. I point out this is the new escape board for Jirachi that you can still use like a U-turn board, which you get the advantage of it can return to your hand. Uh, but then you use uh, Rapidash to make sure that it doesn't fall asleep. Then you can retreat it afterwards. Uh, I think this thing says you get 30 extra HP. Pharaoh Seed, a cup. Reminds me of Beauty and the Beast that Amy likes. All right, we got another card. Will this be our V Max? Come on! Ooh, Wobbuffet V. Let's see. Um, don't remember what the 70 is, but I think this one is any with the amount of damage that you have on Wobbuffet, you deal to your opponent's active Pokemon. All right, it's actually a little bit better. The second attack for two Psychic 70 damage, your opponent can't retreat. And then this one, not only do you deal the amount of damage that's already on Wobbuffet, but you actually move all the damage counters. That's insane. So heal it all and move it over. And basically, you need to one-shot this thing. Oh, I wonder if there's a way you can make something busted where, I don't know, things like add HP and kind of like... Full metal wall type effects where you take less damage, things like Choice Helmet or something. And make it so it's very difficult to one-shot Wobbuffet and then you just keep healing up. That'd be... I wonder if that's, we can make a strategy around that. Alright, so we're into the sword cards now. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me know what your thoughts are about the fact that this is kind of like two sets. I wonder if everything will just give... Actually, I'm not sure if that's going to happen... Pretty sure it's not going to happen in English, like they did in Japanese sets. I think this is Thwacky, although I kind of have struggled to remember that name because when we played, we did start with Grookey, but we named our Pokemon Harambe uh, from the stream. That was what the stream wanted to do. And here is the um, Minchino Chinchino, that this has the effect, as, same thing as Zorua, Zor or Zorark. Discard one card from your hand and then draw two. You do that once per turn. Trade ability. All right, I, I do. We haven't pulled like any kind of texture card or anything like that, so I do want to get at least one of those. Is this some kind of incense? Is this the evolutionary one or something? Sable, very cute. Oh, Grookey. Okay, we got two starters in this pack. Ghastly, and we do have something in the background, and it does look like it's a texture card right on cue. What are we gonna get? Come on, give me Marnie. That's the one we want the most, and then maybe Snorlax or Torkoal. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, nope, it's just the Perserker. Uh, actually, this one's kind of cool, though. I do like the idea, and there's an additional card that helps you tutor up these guys. Uh, this one, I believe, is all your metal Pokemon deal 20 more damage. It's almost like metal, so it, I think it would be cool if they had more of this stuff where uh, they kind of just keep buffing. It almost feels like the Eevee cards, the Eevee Lucians, eh, it's kind of... Obvious, but it's for the entire type, but all right the cup turns into a teapot that makes no sense at all Oh, we got something again Manatine Pharaoh seed Crow gunk oh, Delmize, I don't remember what Delmize did. I remember I was not very impressed by it, so we're not gonna even double check that card We're just keep moving on still looking for some kind of secret rare. I think they kind of like changed it up so so far I, I'm really enjoying this premium box it's really cool I uh, just hope that we get something good that would be my speculation is that you're not you're not guaranteed anything Krabby and I don't remember what the dark fox is called but he always had a weird look on his face so I didn't <laughs> use him in the game 
All right, looks like we have maybe five packs left. Once again, thank you so much, Garfield. Oh, balloon. Maybe this does something with a tree cost or something. Ghastly. Ooh, Intellion. Um, let's see, I believe this had some pretty cool stuff. I believe this thing is you uh, discard a energy or something. Let me double check. All right, got that one completely wrong. So the ability is when you evolve, basically look for two trainer cards, put them in your hand. 120, deal one two damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, I'm not crazy about that, but like ev evolving, have a greens exploration. That's pretty cool, but I feel like its attack is underwhelming and it is a stage two. So that one doesn't really do it for me. We have some kind of potion that heals 120. The Cacturn is not Cacturn, but Sable. Chinchino or Minchino, can't remember. Hunter. All right, no, no, no crazy hits so far. I think uh, the ones I'm happiest about would be that Sableye and that Snorlax. I do like that Snorlax art, and it's a very interesting card where if you can stack up your damage, basically, uh, if you can out heal while dealing damage, that'd be really funny. And Professor Magnolia, I believe this this is discard your hand, draw seven. Uh, especially for decks that doesn't mind discarding cards, that's probably going to replace like Cynthia, maybe even Lily too. Just cycle through your deck super fast like that. All right, let's see, Slandit. Oh, the dog, I don't remember his name. And a teapot. Okay, last pack. Let's get some last pack magic. Give me something really, really cool. Alright, see, so we got Thwacky. Ooh, alright, we got something. The Meowth. I don't remember what that one's called. Oh, Rillaboom! Is this it? Let's see. Uh, yes, okay, all right, so its attack only does 140. This is, in my opinion right now, going to be the most busted card in this set. Yes, it's a stage two. Yes, it's not that strong. You just want him on the bench, and all he's gonna do is use this ability every turn. Once per turn, uh, you can ramp up from your deck to grass energy to one of your grass Pokemon. So we're gonna need some kind of grass thing to deal out damage, but this is in my opinion, the best ramp. Your Frost Moth is probably number two with unlimited ramp, but it's only from your hand. Uh, so this one is from your deck. That's totally busted. And uh, actually, let's just do a quick recap in no particular order. I am so happy that we got this Rillaboom. That's amazing. And I think that's like Wood Hammer or something like that attack. We have a Delmize V, Professor Magnolia, Intellion. Ooh, two of the actually oh we got all three starters for the final evolution that's really cool the galarian berserker wabafet v frost moth i feel like we pulled a lot of really good cards snorlax v that's hilarious and then Sindrace, another really cool card i think intellion is probably the weakest one of those three sable iv this one sounds very interesting as well and then an oranguru Oh, well, that was really fun to open. Once again, actually, let's get into this thing. But yes, Garfield, thank you so much. Uh, you are so generous, and I really appreciate all the support you've given this channel. And if you're interested in sending something to the I Want Turtle channel, uh, there is always a P.O. Box address that you can mail me something. Let's see what this thing is. I guess so. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And I'm guessing we can toss all these guys in there. Uh, probably... I think, you know, dice would still be a little bit easier. That's a pretty cool coin. So, yeah, this box is really cool. The old, the big box that everything came in is super high quality. It even has, like, magnets in there to keep it, to keep it shut. So, yeah, we'll probably use that for something. But thank you so much again, Garfield. And, uh, yeah, now I'm really excited for this set to drop in later in February. So, yeah, we're definitely be doing a bunch of openings on that. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you do want to support the channel, simply hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment down, down below. I'm Wanda Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.